Hey there! My name's Chris. A little under a year ago, I met this girl. In real life for the first time. You see, Susan and I have been online dating for three years now and finally met up in January 2019. Those two weeks we were together were the best two weeks of my life. But two weeks isn't long enough with my love. So, I'm coming back. When the sun comes up, I'll be far away. I never cared about what they say. I always keep on moving on. Almost the exact one year anniversary of the last time I was with Susan. And you know what's funny? This time, I don't feel nervous at all. I knew I was gonna forget something and your boy left his toothbrush at home. Cool, cool. Thank goodness for the little like shops in the airport. Now, uh, minty fresh. Let's get on this plane. Took some time, but we pointed out that tomorrow isn't here right now, baby. An absent mind came to roam around, captured you in a foggy cloud, baby. I very much lucked down, got an aisle seat, which on a long flight like this, and the bathrooms are literally two rows up from me. Plus, oh, your boy can be properly hydrated. <laughs> Susan, I'm coming for you again. So I don't know the local time. Like for me, it is 3 a.m. And I have been sleeping like a baby on this flight. Hallelujah. It's really funny because like last time I was filled with feelings of dread and uh, nervousness about something going wrong because it was my first time flying internationally and this time I'm like, oh, all of those feelings are replaced by just feelings of excitement and anticipation. Hey, did you know Chris Howard's an idiot who forgot to specify vegetation on his meal settings when he was buying these tickets? So my uh, breakfast of champions here was, you know, two pieces of pineapple and five pieces of honeydew melon. <laughs> cool, cool, cool. Anyway, we, uh, we should be landing sometime soon, I think. I don't know, I've lost all track of time. Everybody to the left and right of me have closed their windows. I don't know, maybe we're already on the tarmac. Fun fact, I fell asleep before takeoff. Apparently, because I don't remember lifting off. <laughs> it was just like I sat down in my seat and then uh, we, they were passing out drinks. Cool, cool. Ladies and gentlemen, So, different airport this time, not Shanghai. But uh, the long layover begins. I guess uh, keeping in the spirit of tradition, I should have some kind of montage, huh? Hour old 
Starbucks breakfast biscuit for me this time. Came prepared with some uh, local currency. Fly to Susan. side of this corner. Here it goes. I just realized I haven't even explained the main reason why I'm back here in Malaysia. I mean, obviously, yes, it's to be with Susan, but also because her brother is getting married and invited me as a guest, which is an incredibly high honor and one that I don't take lightly. So, uh, that's exciting. <laughs> so, yeah, join um, me and Susan for more fantastic Malaysian adventures.